Welcome to the Pathfinders Week of Prayer. We are so blessed to have you with us as we journey through this special week under the theme, Jesus Camp With You. As we come together today, let's open our hearts and minds to the presence of Jesus, who is camping with us every step of the way. This is a space for us to grow in faith, build friendships, and reflect on the incredible ways God is working in our lives. We have an exciting program prepared for you, filled with powerful prayers, inspiring messages, and engaging activities. We encourage you to participate fully and let God's Spirit move in your heart today. Once again, welcome. Let's embark on this spiritual journey together and make this day a meaningful and memorable one. Let's pray and invite Jesus to be with us today. I'm on my way to Canada's land. 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 I'm on my way. Praise the Lord, I'm on my way. Nobody can stop him. I am going him. No, who, no, who, nobody can. Yes, I'm on my way. I, 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 if you want to stay, you can stay. I am going. Nobody can stop me. I'm on my way. I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my way. I'm going.
Good evening, Pathfinder Adventure and Church. Welcome to day two of Pathfinder Week. Our theme for this week is uh, Jesus Comes With Us, based on Psalm 23. And our presenters for today is um, Kundi Siro and Liko Dapata. Before we start with the presentation, shall we bow our heads in prayer? Our kind and loving Father in heaven, Father, we come before the throne of mercy and thank you, Father, for leading us and thank you for being with us and thank you for leading us in still waters. We pray as they are going to do the presentation, I pray that may you be with us, may I speak to each and every one of us. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Hello everyone, welcome to our Pathfinder Week of Prayer. Today our story is Max's Peaceful Meadow Adventure. In, in a charming village surrounded by rolling hills and gentle streams, there was, they lived a young boy named Max. Max was full of energy. He liked to run around and play with friends and explore the outdoors. But sometimes Max would get caught up in his adventures that he would forget to rest. He'd find himself feeling tired and overwhelmed. Our beautiful, oh, one beautiful day, Max's grandma, Nana Grace, invited him for a walk. Grandma Grace was wise and gentle and loved spending time with her. She always knew how to make him feel happy and calm. As they walked, Grandma Grace began to tell Max a story from a special song called Psalms 23. Max, she said, let me tell you about the wonderful shepherd named Jesus and how he takes care of, sh of his sheep. The part of the the part of the song says, he makes me lie down in, gr in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. Max listened intently intently curious to learn about the shepherd and his sheep once once upon a time grandma grace continued they lived there was a flock of sheep that lived in a beautiful valley their shepherd jesus loved them very much and knew that the sheep needed rest and peace and peace so he would lead them to the greenest pastures where the grass was soft and fresh the the sheep could li lie down and relax feeling safe and content and content max imagined a meadow filled with soft green grass what about the still what about the still woods grandma grace smiled the shepherd also led the sheep to quiet still waters these waters were calm and clear, perfect for drinking. The sheep felt refreshed and happy because they knew the shepherd was taking care of them. He made sure they had everything they needed to rest, to rest and feel peaceful. As they walked further, Grandma Grace and Max to a real meadow with lush green grass and gentle streams flowing nearby. Look, Max, said Grandma Grace. This is just like the green pastures and the still waters from the story. Grandma Grace sat beside Max and said, Remember, Max, Jesus is our shepherd too. He wants us, he wants us to rest and feel peaceful. Just like the sheep, when, when, we're, when we're tired and worried, we can trust in him to lead us to places of rest and refreshment. From that day, from that day on, from that day on, whenever Max felt, whenever Max felt overwhelmed or needed a break, he would he would think about the green pastures and still waters. He would find a quiet spot and lie down and remember that Jesus is his shepherd was always there to give him rest and peace. And so Max learned the importance of taking time to rest and be still, knowing that with Jesus as his shepherd, he could always find calm, calm and comfort, just like the sheep in the beautiful meadow. Thank you. <music> Thank you. 
Good evening, church, and welcome to day two of our week of prayer. Today, I want to talk to you about a very special verse from the Bible. It's from Psalm 23, verse 2, and it says, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the waters. Let's explore what this means and how we can help us every day. Imagine you are a little sheep in a big, beautiful field. You have a kind shepherd who takes care of you. This shepherd knows everything you need to be happy and healthy. Just like a shepherd cares for his sheep, Jesus cares for us. He wants to make sure we have everything we need, especially rest and peace. The verse says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Green pastures are like soft, grassy fields where sheep can rest. When we are busy, tired or worried, Jesus wants us to take a break and rest. Just like sheep lie down in the green grass to relax and feel safe. We can find rest in Jesus. This means we can trust him to take care of our worries and give us peace. The verse also says, he leads me beside still waters. Still waters are calm, quiet, perfect for drinking and relaxing. Have you ever seen a pond or a lake early in the morning when the water is so still, it looks like a mirror? It's peaceful, right? Jesus leads us to make places of peace. Where we can feel calm and refreshed. When life gets noisy or stressful, we can turn to Jesus and find that calmness. What this means for us is to take time to rest. Just like Jesus, the sheep, just like Jesus, just like the sheep need to rest in the green pastures, we need to take time to rest too. This means spending time um, with Jesus, praying, reading the Bible, and just being quiet and still sometimes. It's important to take breaks and trust that Jesus will take care of you, of everything. Find peace in Jesus. Whenever you feel worried or scared, remember that Jesus is your shepherd. He leads you to places of peace. Take a deep breath, pray, and imagine Jesus holding your hand, leading you beside the waters. Trust Jesus. Just like sheep trust their shepherd, we can trust Jesus. He knows what we need and he cares about us. When we follow him, we can be sure that he will guide us to what's best for us. So let us remember that Jesus is our good shepherd. He makes us lie down in green pastures and lead us, to, and lead us beside still waters. He wants us to rest and find peace in him. Whenever you feel tired, worried, or stressed, turn to Jesus. Let him give you rest and peace just like a shepherd cares for his sheep. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for giving us rest and peace. Help us to trust you and follow you every day. Amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for the wonderful reminder the Lord will, uh, that the Lord will lead us in places and rest. And for our activities to draw today, I would like you boys and girls to draw green pastures and still waters. You can draw yourself as a happy little ship and resting, feeling peaceful. And remember, Jesus is always with you, giving you rest and peace. <laughs> 